Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a Sunday vlog. Just taking you through my Sunday morning, um, all of the things that I do to get reset for a new week. I used to be someone that hated Sundays because I would always feel so stressed and anxious about the week ahead. Like honestly, I would just spend the whole day in my blanket jumper. Uh, watching TV just trying to distract myself from all of the anxious thoughts that I had about the week ahead So the first thing that I do is I basically just try and take some time for myself in the morning I spent this morning going to the gym and doing a workout I try my best these days to keep my phone on sleep mode as much as possible And that's something that I think is really important I find trying to take that time that's just for you Just been listening to podcasts recently so a podcast called The Power Hour, which I think I would describe as sort of like Tim Ferriss's podcast, but more geared towards women. And I've just been really enjoying it. Each week they have a sort of challenge where you can do something to really benefit yourself in a given day for a week. So it could be things like tapping, having less phone time, and just makes you think about, you know, what are the things that I am doing in my day that I could be doing differently and, and that, and I just find that really useful. And so after the gym, I went and did my weekly shopping for the sort of all the breakfast, lunch stuff that I might need. made a quick smoothie recently I've just been loving having smoothies because it's like nice and light and I find I can just carry it around for the rest of the morning and go through the rest of the tasks whereas I had been getting into a really bad habit of sitting down with my breakfast and watching a YouTube video and then watching another YouTube video and then watching another YouTube video and I just needed to break that so I find having the smoothie it sort of means I can like wander around and like keep going it's sort of like breakfast on the go even though I'm staying here so with my meal prep that's not a good lighting I like to go for sort of quick and easy things um, that I really enjoy so I like vegetables a lot um, and I find I feel really good when I eat a lot of vegetables and even with the meal prep I've sort of been doing for a good while now I've sort of still been feeling like they're not really it's just not doing it for me so I've sort of switched things up for this sort of summertime meal prep I'm supposed probably gonna end up doing something like this from like for the next couple of months and um, so what I've got going on so far is um, I've got some sweet potatoes and butternut squash. Uh, again, I really like these vegetables. So these ones in the middle were prepared by Tesco with a, like sort of Cajun rub. This was pre-chopped because like honestly, butternut squash, like you can get a whole butternut squash for like maybe 150. And you can get this like all cubed for like two euro and the effort it takes to prepare butternut squash, I just didn't have it in me today. And then these are just some other sweet potatoes like plain that I had around the house. So that's one thing that we're doing. Just some roasted veg. And then I'm going to put together like a little salad with these. And then other things that I have like you would have seen I just got would be some feta. So I think feta is always great to put into a salad and it is high protein so that's good. And then I'm going to switch out either halloumi or tuna. Probably tuna for the first couple days of the week and then maybe halloumi later in the week. And I can also add avocado and beetroot. So just to say, for this, I just had to literally chop these and throw a bit of stuff on these. It took about two minutes. And I usually have my meal prep done, cooked, and basically cleaned and put away in about an hour. And that's sort of the way I like to do it. So I just do stuff that's really easy, chop it up, put some seasoning on it, throw in the oven, leave it, take it out, wash it, all done. Um, that's just, I think, what makes it sort of easy to do. And then it's like you don't really have an excuse because this probably is going to take about 15 minutes in total to like do all the prep and like you know I've got lunch sorted for the whole week So 
So what I'm doing next is tidying. And for me, I think a tidy space is nearly as important as a clean space, which I know is maybe a controversial opinion. But I don't know if you noticed, but we switched over to the vlog camera. So let me know if you can notice any difference. Um, because my other camera ran out of battery. So one key thing actually that I do like to do in part of this reset is to recharge all of your things. So I've just plugged in my camera battery for my normal camera and I'm plugging in my iPad now because again, that's something that probably needs to be charged maybe once a week, um, maybe twice a week, depends how often I'm using it. So I've got that charging and I just start to charge things like my headphones, my earphones, because they're all sort of wireless, my Kindle, and just get everything charged. And that means that we're pretty much set up for the week as well. Right now I'm gonna go through and start tidying because there's just a lot of stuff everywhere. Like, this is a mess, this is a mess, this is a mess. You know, we tend, to, you know, things build up during the week. I wouldn't be a super clean or tidy person. That might be surprising because a lot of people I think associate being organized with cleanliness and tidiness. Um, but yeah, that, that is definitely not where I stand. <laughs> In that regard, it means I really need to schedule in time to get the place clean and tidy. Um, so that's why Sunday reset is so important. And I know you might be watching this not on a Sunday and you might be thinking, oh, well, I can't do that today because it's not a Sunday. But I've recently started trying to do like a midweek reset as well, which would be on a Wednesday, which would be, again, just doing a tidy up because again, I'm a pretty messy person and I hate being in mess. So I think I've got a good hour and a half's worth of cleaning and tidying to do, and I better get to it. So another thing that I'm just doing today because we have cleared out finally the bed from in here. We just wanna like rearrange this little corner and like move some stuff around. Um, we still need to make up the bed for over here. But yeah, that won't be happening today, but at least once the room is tidy, it leaves a little bit more room for that. So I'm just moving around this stuff. So what I'm doing now is I am looking over my calendar to see what's coming up for this next week. So basically just doing my weekly planning. So I was just on the phone to my dad to arrange the weekend because next weekend I'm planning on heading to Galway for a couple of days. And then I was texting my sister to arrange the week as well because our family dog basically we mined between me and my two siblings. So basically just trying to work out when we're each gonna do that this week. And we also have to do something else together this week. So just basically trying to find the time to do all of that. And today, or this week is gonna be a busy week in terms of the drama school work because I'm covering classes 
on Monday and Tuesday and then we're going to be getting all of the headshots done in those two classes and then also in the Wednesday and Thursday classes. So basically from sort of 3 until 7 or 8 p.m. every day and it's going to be work with the drama school going to see a play on Thursday evening so it's going to be a very busy week I think the evenings anyways are going to fly by so I basically just need to be really strategic with my morning times in terms of PhD work so um, it's going to be basically 9 to 1 every day just making sure that that is dedicated to PhD work and I think that's pretty much like I don't know if I actually even really need to do a time blocked schedule because I have just all these appointments I don't know if I'm really bothered sometimes what I would do is I'd actually completely block it out but for this week I actually don't think I need to do that so I'm basically just going to put in 9 to 1 PhD work and I'm probably going to head into the office on Friday. I don't know, I probably won't head into the office any other day just because of the way that I have things set up with doing all of those headshots this week. I just don't think it's going to work. Yeah, I feel like that was actually a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I was feeling a bit stressed about this week because I know I have to go and do things every day and usually that is very stressful but I'm starting to feel way better at it about it I think this is why I like really feel planning is so important because once you have your week planned out it's sort of like oh okay all of this stuff that I was really stressed about just becomes easier and next week should look a little bit nicer because of getting to go to Galway for a couple of days and I'm just gonna try and take it easy while I'm there so I have a couple of things to do to get myself sorted just you know a couple of I might swap one class and so the other thing that I'm gonna do is just take a quick look at my task list for the my current like rolling task list um, and just sort of delete anything that might not be relevant anymore and um, add anything that's come to mind so I need to email auction people swap online classes swap brochure class Text Amelia, text Sinead, um, Okay, I'd say that's probably it. I think if anything else comes to mind, I will add those. So I'll just give you a quick look at how my task list looks. So this is how it's looking now. Obviously I need to like organize all of these tasks related to you know all of this so like all of that needs to be reorganized that's fine I'll do that now and then I'm basically going to take a little break also just to take this is where my week is looking so this is how my current week is looking I'm not going to bother time blocking I guess it is time blocked already but like usually what I would do is I would put them all into a schedule like this I just haven't bothered today, I don't really feel like it's necessary and I think with planning and productivity you just do what makes the most sense for you so I think right now makes the most sense is to just check in on this, this calendar for every day, usually I'll try and check in on it every day, this gives me like the hard landscape of the day if, as it was when I go over to my task list this gives me a sense of what I can try and do on a given day. Another thing that I just wanted to mention, doing this allows me to have a really enjoyable rest of my Sunday. So it's currently midday, so it's 12 p.m. I'm about to have some lunch. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit this video and I'm gonna get it up hopefully in a couple of hours because it's a vlog, it's usually a little bit easier to edit. Hopefully I'll have that up and ready to go for five o'clock for you guys, we'll see. And I will get back to doing the rest of my sort of household stuff. And then I will be going to my family home this evening for dinner and it just means I will be able to be present and really enjoy the time with my family because we haven't really sat down for dinner together in a while and I won't be worrying about what's coming next this week. I won't be feeling stressed about the week ahead or what's going on. I'll just be able to be there and be able to enjoy that time with my family and with Jack and that's I think really, really important. That is it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And just a reminder that this does not need to be done on a Sunday. You can do this any day that you would like, any day that you feel you need to get reset. And I would love to hear what would be some reset activities that you like to do on top of these. Um, I think I only even touched on a few of the many, it sort of just depends. 
one of the things that just clear out all of my handbags and my backpack. Mainly the one that I bring to my university is just full of random crap and that can be a really nice thing to do to get totally reset for the week. So there's so many things that you can do and it's just about finding what is the best thing for you that really makes you feel like you're ready for a new week. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks to all of my wonderful members and I'll see you all in the next video.